it's update time <clears throat> yeah hello welcome everybody to supermarket simulator the update is that what it's called the update uh yeah this is like officially like the second update maybe if you don't count like hotfix or anything like that like major i guess you could say like content update this is probably the hang on as i fumble over myself this is probably the second one is if you're like calling like mechanics and whatnot update this is because there's a storage update and there's a restocker update this is restocker update uh says hello thank you for playing supermarket simulator what's new in this update well they've added restockers <laughs> this should be fun they've added a keyboard shortcut for the card reader hey, hey numpad for the credit card so i can punch in those zeros even harder for for all of you um okay um They've added labels to all the shelves that show the product info, which is good. They've added clearing labels for emptying shelves by clicking on the label. They've added a new mirrored checkout counter. So you can have mirrored checkout counters instead of all like them being in the same placement, I guess, or same looking placement. <clears throat> They've added a placement layout for soda, yogurt, beer, pack, butter, beef, steak, all the above. They've added selling boxed up furniture by holding F, which is cool. They've added closing the boxes when placing into storage racks. Uh, they've added placing the computer to the storage room. So like I said in the last stream, I was like, oh, I wish you could put the computer in the storage room. Well, guess what? You can. Um, they've increased the throwing force. They've edited the LOD differences of some items on the map. They fixed storage racks causing FPS drop. Fix the bug causing direct interaction with uh, checkouts and placing after unbox. Fix the icon of the vintage books. They fixed items falling through the walls of the door between store and storage room. They fixed boxes staying red all the time when taking from racks. And they fixed six packs of beer icon size. Improvement on the restocker. Juice stockers only take boxes from the storage racks for now. We'll also be adding, uh, add taking boxes from the floor to put to the storage. So we have to put the put the items in the storage they take this items from the storage to the racks which is fine that's that's fine um what's next we'll focus on fixing bugs adding a detailed settings menu and then steam cloud save and overall maintenance so this is going to be it i guess for now for maybe the next month or two maybe a couple months um as far as like content to this game um looks like they're going to be focusing on bugs bug fixing uh implementing steam cloud save which a lot of people probably would really like steam cloud save steam cloud save is nice uh and maintenance and all that there's performance issues the update this update might cause fps drop in some com computers okay <laughs> this update also contains a hot fix uh for the issue sorry for the inconvenience earlier um yeah so there is a warning depending on your computer i guess right um it might affect your uh performance they also edited some translations and they fixed the bug in dutch localization as well that's it that's all i got for you with this patch and update um one thing i did not see uh was lighting <clears throat> it doesn't seem like they changed anything they've added anything with the lighting so i guess we'll just have to see uh today but we're gonna be you know fondling with the restockers that we're gonna be playing with the restockers today um so that should be fun right we should be at least having some sort of uh goodness out of that right hello shante hello papa mush hello alexander hello Susie t hello al barnes hello velvet glove dark links welcome into reza hello melgrit how are you welcome in i see you over there on twitch everyone on youtube and everyone on twitch good to see you welcome in hello maggie may hello christine hello leah hello serenity hello freya welcome in hello hello best warhog how are you welcome in game stations violet hello violet how are you welcome in good to see you illuminati masons hello hello how are you liberty bell how are you liberty bell nikki t hello nikki t fbk kit glass uh, Jackie, Jackie, hello, I see you over there on Twitch. Kenzie, Miriam, hello, Barclay, welcome in, welcome in. Hello, everybody. Uh, Gewoon, Gewoon, hello, Gewoon. Kira, hello, Kira. 
Joshua. Hello, hello. Everybody's smirking, lurking, and possibly working on this Thursday. Welcome in as, as well. Good to see you. Hello, Michelle. I see you, Michelle, over there on Twitch. Hello, Peter. Hello, David. Welcome in. Yeah, so um, it should be fun. It should be good. We should have a, a good time today. This should actually make things a little bit less stressful and kind of really uh break up a little bit of monotony hopefully we'll have to see hello laura just wanted to say that these streams really help me find joy on an evening um after i finish at uni and work i hope you stay healthy thank you laura how are you good to see you welcome in you put a smile on my face yeah <laughs> hello katrina how are you katrina welcome in yeah so a lot of people seem to be really liking this update and all that so let's see did they fix any lighting it doesn't say in the patch notes that lighting was fixed or anything like that so my guess would probably be no uh is it a big deal i don't know i mean i don't know are people asking for for lighting to be kind of dealt with uh, you know i don't know but here we are uh we gotta actually now we actually have a purpose right we have a purpose to put stuff on shelves correct now yes we do we have a purpose uh so this is awesome so yeah yeah okay all right yeah so it's gonna be a day of organizing isn't it it is it's gonna be a day of organizing oh lord so we gotta really um how would you say what we need to do today is we need to worry about wow this is kind of cool we need to worry about organizing a bit a bit now in the last stream uh at towards the end we actually got a new section and we got a new register what we'll probably do and what we i guess it did not save we will actually hire the third cashier and then we will hire a, a restocker and i guess the next one uh we need six racks yeah we need six racks to have the next one okay so let's see here we have the restocker in now how does this work does he come to, to come to work right now is he here is is is, is, is am i missing so oh oh he's already up uh, wow right right okay okay wow okay so you're already working wow hey subscriber thank you for subscribing vin dj and eric hello eric and v vin dj this is awesome hey, subscriber so he's doing this okay yeah i'm all right let's do it cool hey subscriber let's do it let's do it let's do it uh so yeah i guess the one thing we need to do is organize organize a bit so put all the stuff take it all out of the streets doesn't need to be in the streets anymore we can go ahead and do our freaking thing look at that and he puts it in the trash good man good man all right now we're gonna be cooking today hello randy how are you hello angelo how's it going what's going on what's going on this is great this is great okay cool uh the best part is is the fact that we actually know what is what now so we know what is what uh this go hello this goes there this goes there we don't need to worry about that well, really probably what we're going to do today is focus on expanding the uh storage the storage of the uh well the storage room bring in more racks probably more stalkers whatnot now right now i could technically run the store right now like we don't need to wait for anything i don't think i think we can just go right now and be happy with it we have the three people three uh cashiers we have the restocker that's doing his job um let me actually see how much it costs to buy another one so this is the mirror checkout and this is the regular checkout uh 200 yeah let's get another one in so we can get another restocker in as well there we go cool this update is the actual goat yeah is that is that what it is it's the actual goat <laughs> there we go we'll do that okay so then let's go ahead and see the restock real quick and actually i'm going to move this uh computer into that room as well so now we can hire a second one there we go and then we'll grab this now does this make the progress i feel like this frog or process progress progress the progress of your grocery store really amps up even faster just by having the restocker and all that this is where like the grocery store can definitely be more automated right and you could probably progress through levels faster licenses faster things like that that is just what i'm assuming 
um so there's all that let's go ahead and just open up right yeah hello mitchell how's it going you need to put one item on the shelf so that the restocker knows where to put out everything yeah yeah you just have to make sure that it's on the shelf right uh because that's what the labels are for if the labels are there that means that's where this goes and so on and so forth if the label is not there then he doesn't know wh wh where it goes right yeah yeah obviously yeah we'll, 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 we'll have to take care of that eventually um real quick though where did this go yeah, that goes up there um yeah there we go okay uh there's gonna be a lot of micromanaging tinkering in the storage room today but I, you know i think it'd be fine let's go ahead and open up the store let's get it going and let's run it and let's kind of just like slowly bring everything into the storage room and at the same time we'll let the store kind of progress and do its thing yeah cool uh the one thing that the game doesn't have yet as it said in the patch notes is the that they are going to implement the restockers going from boxes on the street putting them into the storage room too uh that will just eventually come yeah there we go eventually come here we are perfect the restocker is amazing add-on to this game oh yeah you know what if you're watching this in the vod how, how are you liking the update let me know in the comment section below too how's everybody liking the update er, everyone approves of it yeah good update great update wish they had more wish they had less <laughs> let me know i'm curious to know what your thoughts are all right there we go we'll do a little bit of flour and obviously the way the the storage room is kind of set right now i don't like it i don't like the layout that i have here for it so we'll, we'll have to uh fix that eventually but it is what it is for right now there we go there we go why are the boxes so far down the street uh because in the last stream we were storing everything in or we were storing everything uh outside yeah there we go you like it but now it's restocking simulator <laughs> Yeah, and you know, <laughs> I kind of kind of talked about this uh, previously. Uh, now with like the upcoming stuff coming as well, like self checkout and things like that, like there will be eventually a point where you don't do anything, right? Um, uh, it, it, there's going to be a point where you are not going to do anything, like. The restockers will take the boxes off the streets, put it into the storage room, take them out of the storage room, put it in the grocery store. Cash registers will be cash registers. Um, Self-checkout will be self-checkout. You might not even need a cash register anymore, right? So the only thing that you're going to really be able to, well, uh, the only thing you're going to be, I guess, eventually be able to do is eventually you'll be able to just order stuff and that's pretty much it. Yeah. And that's all you need to do. Everything will be automated, right? Then you will be the ultimate owner, I guess, of a supermarket. <laughs> yeah, there's that for you. <laughs> oh, yeah, and you will pay your bills as well. You'll pay your bills and order stuff in, and that will be that. Uh, where did I put the rice? I put the rice over here. Where did I put the rice? Right up there. There we go. Mm -hmm. then it won't be fun anymore well you know that's what we've been demanding right we've been asking we've been like give us this give us this gosh give us this right and i guess that's what we get <laughs> but yeah i guess there, there will be a point where everything will just be automated hopefully sometimes you like to think that if a game is going to be automated you would like to, to, to at least think or hope or wish that it would be um like late game stuff you know late game okay you know we're, we're at the very very end of our ropes here we've got most of if not all the products in uh product licenses done and now the grocery store can be like fully automated right but this is i feel like very early on to have like like basically our job now is to look at the shelves and be like what do i not have and then i order that right that's basically our job from here on now we don't need to restock anything anymore ever again uh since we have these guys unless of course we fire them and then you know they can kick it and then we can you know restock ourselves and whatnot but yeah so 
by the way, MG Mab Mabri, Mabri, thank you for following on Twitch. And Shiona, Shiona, thank you for following on Twitch too. Hello. NVH99, I didn't see in the last stream. Thank you for following. And Mandy Purple as well, thank you for following on Twitch. Yeah, so uh, all we get to do is kind of play snitch a bit. <laughs> we walk around, pay our bills. Oh, I need to order this. And then that's it. <laughs> it's, it's nice, right? But I don't know. Some people's, I guess, um, way of playing could be interrupted but again it's optional you don't have to have the restockers in you, you could choose not to have the restockers in right um how much is this 1800 for the storage room okay eleven thousand for that and then we are on a hefty loan right we are definitely on a hefty loan there we go okay um is there anything that i don't have out i have frozen pizzas out right Okay, I think everything I have back here is technically out on the shelf. I don't think there's anything back here that is not on the shelf. Maybe milk, actually. Sorry. Milk. Nope, milk is definitely out. Um, No, I think we're okay. I think everything that we have owned and everything that we do own is already out there. All right. Um, Well, then. I guess we'll just wait until uh, we get some money. Yeah? Get some money and all that? Yeah. You work over 45 hours at a supermarket... Uh, uh, a week yet still look forward to watching this my lord emma what department are you working in are you working in this where you put stuff on the shelf as well yeah yeah hello down and dirty how's it going yeah it's true you can always open a register for yourself i mean technically yeah we could just kind of sit here and if we wanted to we could just kind of let's actually put this like above there we go and we could kind of like uh, get rid of maybe one of them and then we could run the uh, register ourselves and like have some sort of interaction, right? So maybe we'll, we'll do that. We'll fire the third register guy and then we'll at least be able to, yeah, don't ding me, at least be able to use the numpad now if they use card. Really cash? I don't know why I drew a blank there. $14 coming back at you. <laughs> there you are. All right. I don't know why I was, I was like amazed by the $14 for some reason. Okay. There we are. Back to you. Uh, can someone uh, pay with card? No, pay with card, please. I'm looking for card. Thank you. Okay. Here we go. Uh, just, yeah. Amazing. <laughs> so awesome i still have to look down at the numpad because i'm not that good at it i'm not an accountant so i don't know my numpad numbers very well but hey it, it's there it works it's there 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 yeah numpads work there you go it's incredible absolutely incredible we're over here uh, doing the impossible almost now this stuff over here is kind of weird and wonky i just realized that our shelves didn't uh, save, I don't think. Our layout here didn't save. So we're going to need to fix that as well. Yeah, that didn't save from the last time we played. Interesting. There we go. My lord. $93. Oh, whoops. Have a good one. There we go. Life is now complete that I can use the numpad. That's basically it, yeah. Life is now complete. Life can be dream. Do 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 Melgrit, thank you for using your Prime subscription on me on Twitch. Hello, Melgrit. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. Thank you. Does the terminal work with num normal numbers too? You don't have a numpad. You must have a smaller keyboard. I'll I'll double check. I'll double check. <laughs> gotta have the gotta 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 go gotta go okay let me re re uh, redo this because this is a mess right now this is not how i wanted wanted it to be and i'm pretty sure we did this last time but apparently it did not shave so that's fine we'll go ahead and redo this now we want to make this an aisle kind of like this over here next to us I actually didn't see how much the daily cost for the restockers are. I should probably have checked that before I hired them. Let me line this up a bit. 
I think that's good. And then we'll grab this. It's like this. There we go. Grab this. Now we're going to have one left over. I think one extra shelf left over. Perfect. Uh, yeah, we'll do this. There we go. Okay. We have that taken care of. We'll go ahead and scoot this over by the cash register here. And then we'll put these freezers up against the wall for now. There we go. There we go. Hello, Mark. How's it going, Mark? There we are. Did I put that in backwards? I did. You fool. There we go. Okay. Good. Perfect. All right. And then put end caps of fridges uh, on these on, on the end too as well. That'd be great. Uh, let's go to the go. Let's go to the go. Let's go to the next day. Uh, let's see. Where's our... Uh, do we have like a staff expense? Or is that part of bills? What the hell did I buy for $2? What? What was $2? Um, okay. How much do you guys cost? I guess I could just look. I, I, I guess I can look it up in the computer. How much do you guys cost? $90 a day. You guys are more, uh, more expensive than the cashiers. All right. Very well. $90 a day. Uh, there's really not much I don't think I can actually buy with the money that I have after bills. So let's take care of that real quick. Boom, boom, and then bills of loan. Boom. Uh, we can order a little bit of things, yeah. I really don't know what to order. Um, we're kind of out of a lot of things. So let's do... Actually, let me just pick one. We'll pick one and then we'll kind of like slam it. I don't know what goes in there. Cheese, huh? Cheese. We'll get cheese. Order some cheese. Five. Five. That's enough. I yeah, will do that. Perfect. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Pretty luxurious. Just order everything, basically. That's what we're going to need to do. Order ten of everything. Uh, there we go. Then you guys can get back to work here in a sec. Once I place... Actually, you know what? Let's do that first. <laughs> Actually, boom, 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 boom. Add one to each row where you want them all, right? And then slide it right here. Then they will go get it. And then again. Boom, 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 boom. So they know which racks we want done. And then go like that. Perfect. Okay. We got it. We got it, we got it, we got it. Hello, Faith Angel. How are you? Good to see you. Welcome in. Hello, Don Sky. How are you, Don Sky? What's going on? There we are. One more. Uh, we should probably just open up the store while we're doing this, too. I got to get in the habit of doing that. Uh, opening the store while uh, kind of restocking, right? And turn on the lights. There we go. Okay. Looking pretty good. And then hopefully we make some money today. And then I'll try out the uh, normal numbers instead of like the numpad and, and things like that. Yeah. You're loving this game. You're addicted at this point. It's very fun, isn't it? Can't wait for CCTV and self-checkouts. Can't wait for CCTV and self-checkouts. I'm kind of thinking... How will the thieves work in this game, right? Self-checkout, I mean... Self-checkout, boom, put it in, bam. Customer do do themselves. It's a day, right? It's a day. And then I guess fire... Reg, cash... Reg, <laughs> sounds so bad. Fire the cashiers. Get them out of here. Save money that way. Alipad, thank you for following on Twitch. Hello. Get them out of here. Other people have named their workers. So what's your name for them? Uh, thing one and thing two. Hello, Marquita. How are you, Marquita? What's going on? All right, let's see. Cash. Give me a card, please. 
All right, we'll just wait. Your shelves were full. We're all full in my stock room. And I still had parcels all over the pavement outside when I logged out earlier. <laughs> you guys are making too much money, I think. You guys are making way more money than I am. Probably gets the store gets large. Four cashiers can't keep up. So then you'll have self checkouts back up as maybe you might be right. Now there is a there's a formula to this game and I don't know how it works. I don't know how the formula works with uh, customers. Uh, the more customers you get is based off of. I don't know. I'm guessing or I'm questioning is what I'm doing. The more customers you get, the traffic increases due to your level increases due to your section increases due to your product license i do not know what it is can you use the normal numbers you can use the normal numbers so you don't have to have a numpad you can use the other uh numbers as well so yeah i don't know i don't know what actually influences more customers there's not like a reputation system in this game right yeah do you think you once you get to level 50 that be the end for the game surely there must be a cutoff um i don't know if 50 would be the cutoff hang on let me see you can kind of look at like uh licenses like right here to get the last license you need to be level 90. so there's at least 90 levels in this game there's probably 100 levels in this game is what it is but you need to get at least level 90 to get the last product license. But yeah, I'm, I'm not sure what actually influences um, traffic AI. AI traffic, I guess. Max 60 customers at level 50 and above. So once you go above level 50, you can't get any more in. Is that what it is? I am effing that terribly. I might just go back to clicking, dude. I might just be faster. I might be just used to it at this point. I might just click. <laughs> there we go. Mm -mm. Hello, Diane. How are you? YouTube said 530 for you. Yeah, it did. Uh, we changed the, uh, the stream... Uh, an hour early yeah so it probably then said 4 30 eventually but yeah <laughs> our first stream ended kind of early so yeah i don't know does it feel like we're making money faster i mean uh, we're doing all right i guess it's gonna be a while before we can restock everything now isn't it it's gonna be a long while we got our restockers doing everything for us so we just kind of sit back, chill, and ring people out. And order stuff, right? Yeah. There we go. We're going to need more than 60 customers at a time to get the funds for the final license. I know. It's like a million dollars, isn't it? Or like some sort of hundreds of thousands of dollars. It is a very, very, very lo long... A long grind very long the stream ended early because you went to the new update that fast yes yes we basically did everything in the in the update uh, last stream you need to reorganize my store I need to reorganize my store too I feel like I guess one thing I should have done too I should have did a price check on everything price check should have priced everything. I'll probably do that in the morrow. We'll do that too. Do you still have to change the prices? Yes, yes, yes. Still got to change the prices. There's still even in the um, even in like this little tiny roadmap of like what to expect in the future. There's no mention. I don't think. I don't think. Maybe I could be wrong though. But I don't think there's a mention of like adding like like i don't know like maybe online shipping maybe there is something talking about online shipping but i haven't seen anything like that but yeah bomb 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 island mimic 
Thank you for using your Prime sub on Twitch. How are you? Thank you, thank you. <laughs> in my morrow, in the fanciest, in the fanciest way. Right back at you. People did say, I wish you could actually hit the space bar on the charge pad now. Well, with the function of numpad, you can actually hit enter now. So I wonder if you can actually use the space bar on the numpad on the on the credit card machine now too. Let's see. You cannot use the space bar on this, but you can at least use the enter key. So that's cool. There you are on your way. It does like it is it is something, right? It's interesting because if you products change every day, which means you have to like tinker everything every day. I don't know if I would rather have like maybe two or three items change every day, or maybe like a batch of items change like every th three or four days you know like instead of like three items change every day maybe every three or four days like nine I items change or ten items change right that would be nice so then you're just not like running through the store constantly tinkering all the time i mean it wouldn't be too bad if you could actually tinker the prices on the computer right but that's not the case here like look at this look at our look at th this disgusting disgusting what we have here absolutely disgusting just empty shelves everywhere five customers satisfied the entire day yeah we're having a bad bad time right now we don't have money to fill this bad boy up i keep going there for my computer and all of our bills are hammering us at the moment there we go that bill loan bill all the bills uh, let's go to here. I guess we can kind of start from the top and go and work our way through, right? Let's start from the top. Work our way through again. Order that. Here we are. Order five of everything. There we go. 118. That's good. Okay. And yes, we can order throughout the day too, which we need to kind of start practicing a bit more. And when I mean we, I mean me, because I'm the one effing it up. So, there we go. We'll do that. Uh, sugar, I guess. Sure. Flour. Then I'm going to need to, like, really remember where things go. I'm going to have to, like, once I get, like, a system in place, I'm going to have to, like, uh, really worry about the storage racks and try to figure out where this and that goes, right? There go. We just need more storage racks for me to organize it correctly. Uh, let's actually place that there for now. There we go. Excuse me. Oil. Uh, sure, dude. I guess I can also replace other things. Like, we don't need that many dishwasher tablets. Cereal. There we go. Pasta? Did I put pasta anywhere? Put the pasta. Did. Right up there. But look at this. I mean, this is it right here, right? This is what we're playing for right now. This right here. And this is nice, right? It is. It's very nice. It's nice to have multiple things going on at once. Like, okay, at least... Yeah, we're putting boxes in the storage, but at least we're... You know, we're making progress out on the, out on the floor, too. I mean, there was times where, like... And even people that are way, way farther into the game than I am right like it probably took you an hour to at least stock your store in the morning right maybe sometimes who knows depending on your system there we go place that there it's a memory simulator now <laughs> a memory simulator yeah now we gotta the memory card game is what's gonna happen um did I have oil? Maybe not. 
place that up there. Mm -hmm -hmm. Yeah, once I get a system down, whoops, once I get a system down, it should be fine. It should be easy. Hopefully. Place this there. Grab this. Go like that. There we go. We just need to basically just clean up a bit. There we go. Also, we just need a bigger area. This this area is getting a little too claustrophobic. A little too small. Uh, let's go there. We're kind of just throwing stuff randomly so that it just gets put out fast. Quickly. <laughs> there we go. Hello, Valkyriel. Valkyriel, how are you? Welcome in. Where did I put the flower? Right up there. And then over here. And then back over here. And that should be good, right? Good? Good. Okay. And then we're ready. I mean, look, we could have... I guess I could have been open. Well, no, I don't want to be open while that's happening. Because if I'm open while that's happening, there's a chance that customers will be dissatisfied because the things they could not find now i need to actually fix a few things as you could probably guess some things need to be relabeled this being one of them go and here we are relabeled there we go okay uh let me go through here and see if everything is labeled correctly as far as this goes. Yeah, uh, looks fine to me. Maybe the sugar could be readjusted. It looks like some things did kind of delete um, from the update. Or maybe not delete, but I guess they weren't implemented yet. Uh, coffee. Cereal. Other cereal. Okay. Yeah, we're going to have to go through and kind of look at everything. All right. Let's go. Everything out here or back here should be out there, which is... That's good. All right. Let's go. More money. More money, more prob... Oh, shit. It shouldn't have light off. <laughs> more money, more problems. There we are. Okay. Enjoy it. Enjoy it indeed. Can you take out another loan while paying the one you have? Yeah, you can. You can take out, I think, all three loans. But there ain't no way I'm doing that. What are the labels for? So the labels are for uh, the stalkers to know where to put the items on the shelf. That's where uh, that's where they go. Hello, Reese. How are you, Reese? Good to see you. Welcome in. Mm -hmm. All right. Now we sit and we wait. We wait. We wait. And we wait. Money. Money, 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 money. Patiently. We wait patiently. The oil isn't on the shelf. Great. Great send. Is that right? Yeah, I think you're right. Okay, so we had oil over here. Now, is there an... Uh, a place where I can put it? No? Alright, we'll put it back. There we go. All right, good send. Oil is now on the shelf. Hello, how can I help you? Card, $13, please. Have a great day. Was there anything else that I was missing? I don't think there was, right? I think we got everything else on this show. Pretty sure. 50 cents for you, sir. And like right now, I could stop and be like, okay, let's go ahead and order some more stuff. Which I definitely could. Definitely good. Kind of get the ball rolling a little bit. Let's do it. So where did I leave off on? Let's go water. She. like that water and for now we'll just stack things randomly uh we'll stack things randomly in random places 
And that will be that. Is water actually labeled out here? It is. Okay. And then cheese is that cheese labeled out here. It is. Okay, cool. I got to do one cheese though. One slot is missing. There we go. 34. I'm going to be looking down at my numpad all day today. Okay, let's go ahead and fix the rest of this. So I guess the one thing would, you know, yeah, yeah, it's nice to have uh, the third cashier so that you can kind of worry about this, right? But then I feel less hands-on. I guess you got to pick and choose your battles, right? Pick and choose. What do you want? Do you want to do nothing or do you want to do something, right? Do you want to be busy or do you not want to be busy? On my way. Here we go. 3625. Thank you. Hello, Kisa. How are you, Kisa? What's happening? There we go. Where did the cheese go? Right there. Yeah. And right there. And then we can continue ordering. So, coffee. Can't afford that yet. But we will here in a sec. One dollar. Okay, we can afford the coffee now. And what's the next thing? Eggs. We need 386 to order that. Coffee and eggs. Coffee and eggs. There we go. There we are. Uh, 19. Oh, come on, sir. All right, actually, no, this is good, sir. This is good. You're good. You're fine. You're fine. Don't listen to me. You're fine. All right, now I can go order the rest of that stuff. Bonk. Bonk. Good. Just give me a sec. Give me a sec. Comment. Okay. Hello. 62. Uh, 19. Very good. Okay. Back to the restock. This is a system. <laughs> if you've ever seen a system, this is it. We found the system, kind of. We've got a good we got a good thing going here. Yeah, we do. We got a good thing going here. There we go. We have a good thing going. I'm going super fast too. What happens if you fill a stock room shelf when the stalker has a box and can't put it back? <sighs> Very simple. You jam the box in the stalker's ass and say, you know what? Figure it out. That's what happens. How much is a clock for you? It is 10.15 for you. It is two, almost 2.15 for me. 10. Hello, Rabbit Plays Tricks. Love the name. Blue cheese is nasty. Ranch is awesome. Mushrooms are a gift from above. And I've seen hundreds of root beer commercials. Okay, everything you just said is incorrect. He puts it into the trash. He'll throw away a whole box of product. That's not good. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> yeah, our bills and our people are going to get F tomorrow. Do you remember the Barks has bite commercials? Look, I'm talking about 21st century. We're not going to talk about the 20th century. What happened in the 1900s happened. It's gone. We're past that. Throwing away the bread. How dare you? How dare you? You know what? Blame the stalker. He's going to be the one that's throwing away the bread now. Starlets, thanks for following on Twitch. Hello, Starlets. 
I can't say stalkers correctly. I know it sounds like I'm saying stalker, but how are you supposed to say stalker? Stalker? Stalker. I'm coming after all of you in chat. I'm not stalking anybody. I'm, I'm stalking the damn... You know what? I typed it in. I did not use the numpad just for you. Are we good? We, we good to end the day? Okay. Here we go. It's Scarlet. Thank you for following on Twitch. Appreciate that, Scarlet. Okay. Bills. I, I don't have enough for um for uh I don't have enough for for the loan. So to be determined. Nope. Yep. Open up. Open wide. Here I come. And, uh... No. Yeah. You can use the numpad, you absolutely can, yes. You can type in the credit card charges now? Yes. Yes, you absolutely can. Oh, yeah. Let's check the eggs out. You're right. Yeah, you're right. Good eye. Good eye. Very good eye. Look at that. You should be the behind the camera, not me. Good eye. I think there was also another thing I needed to do. Was it just the eggs or was it the cheese as well? It was the cheese also that needed that treatment. That's not cheese. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Got to make sure your labels are correct. Make sure your labels are correct. We live in a world where labels piss people off. Jesus. God, we got other things to worry about here in life. Mimi Vandal. Mimi Vandal? Thank you for following on Twitch as well. Hello. 2475. Numpad. You can call them stalkers and say they are stalkering. <sighs> Instead of putting labels on the side of the box, Dev put them on the shelf. Correct. Correct. It's part of the system, I think. It's part of the stalker system, though. So it has. I guess it has to be that way. But it's part of the stocking system. Call them replenishers. Okay, that's too many syllables. <laughs> Better be pissed off than pissed on unless that's your thing. Okay, wait a sec. When did R. Kelly join the chat? <laughs> Give them something something real to complain about. <laughs> Hello, Melissa. How are you? I think the shelf edge labels are a clever way to do it. So the thing about it, it, at least back here, it's a little like this is just my brain and how it works. Like it's a little confusing for me because when I see this, like, look, when I see this, I think that box is milk because that label is under the box, but that's not how it works. This box is coffee. So it's like, that's how my brain works. This is milk. But in the game, this is coffee. <laughs> so it's kind of, it's, it's throwing me off a bit here. $65 coming right back at you. 
you are also confused yeah see it's like but i understand why it's that way it has to be that way because there's a system where there's boxes on the bottom right so that's why it's like that uh, why whoa it's, it's kind of dropping a bit frame now i guess one way to kind of combat that if you really wanted to and make it kind of correct is is what you could do is put the boxes on the very 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 top which you can't do you can only put them on the bottom but if you can put them on the very very top i don't know why it's so choppy it is very choppy um that would solve the problem but you know it's fine it's fine you just gotta get used to it is all you, you gotta get used to it yeah just the very top shelf just be usable there we go the shelves in the store have the labels below which is why it's so confusing oh yeah oh yeah that's right huh yeah so it's 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 proper here in it's proper on the shelves here but it's not correct in the stock room yeah that's true huh because like the bottom here is for that the bottom here is for that but you go back here and the world's flipped upside down <laughs> it's not like that it's it's all backwards back here or upside yeah I get yeah that that that's true huh so your brain is working two different ways depending on which room you're in yeah that's true <clears throat> yeah mm -mm 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 -mm. do you know why your money isn't growing as much as other streamers yes they are better than me at this game and or probably have put way more hours into this game than I have. They probably even play off camera too, which I don't do. I don't play my games off camera. Hello, Liz. How are you? Have they updated the computer? No, they have not. No reflection on the shelves. No lighting update. I'm assuming they're going to change the lighting. Hopefully, but they haven't done that also. Well, they've done other things besides that. <clears throat> OSHA violation to keep the food boxes on the floor too Look You want to argue with the OSHA violation Or do you want to uh, Argue with the ooh, sanitary system What is it Who's the uh, food inspector I don't know who inspects Grocery stores but <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Who inspects the grocery stores? Somebody inspects the, the restaurants. Who inspects the grocery stores? We have a little bit of money to work with here. Wait, actually, we probably don't have a lot of money to work with. Probably not. Did I ever get the coffee in? I don't think I did. Did I? Did I get the coffee in? I did get the coffee in. FDA? FDA regulates grocery stores? I thought they regulate food. They do grocery stores as well? This is news to me. This is absolutely news to me. The Food Drug Administration comes in to grocery stores and says, Oh, incorrect. Wow, that... See those two numbers? That's why we're failing here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, price changes. We're going to do that too today because we haven't done that yet. Um, let's take care of the bills and then let's order a little bit more. And then we'll do price changes. Because we got to be on top of that. We got to be on top of that. Five. Not tea again. I'm not doing more tea. Five. I should probably do the bills first, huh? There we go. There we are. Okay, $53. Perfect. All right, let's go like this. Grab a little bit of milky milk. Perfect. There's the frame drop. It's like when you look right here. 
Right here. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. That's the sweet spot right there. That's the frame drop. Oh, that's good stuff, isn't it? <laughs> it's right there. If you look right in that area, you're going to get hit by it. Peanut butter. Do I have peanut butter on the shelves? I should probably check. Where would I put peanut butter at? Over here? No. Right here? Where am I putting peanut butter? Oh, right there. Yeah, okay. Perfect. Everywhere else is fine. It's just that one little tiny spot right there. So I'm going to try to avoid... Avoid looking in that spot. Shit, I just looked in that spot. There we are. Peanut butter. Peanut butter, peanut butter, peanut butter. Okay. Uh, price check. Okay. 425, that's fine. Uh, 550, that's fine. 450, that's fine. We gotta be careful not to click the actual tag. If we click the actual tag, it removes it and we don't want to do that that's fine that's whoops that's fine that is not fine that's fine that's fine that is definitely not fine okay that's fine That's fine. That's fine. Good. 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 Yes. Okay. Good. 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 Not good. Holy hell. We were lowballing ourselves on that one. Okay. All right. Good. Good. Six dollars. Okay. That's pretty fast, pretty simple, pretty easy. Open up. Nothing too drastic there, except for maybe like a couple of items, but that's pretty much it. Yeah. Hello, Lady Blue Sword. Restarting the game fixes the lag and most other issues temporarily. Yeah, so in the patch notes, it says that... Uh, specifically, it says in the patch notes that there is performance issues. Yeah. Hello, Ali. How are you, Ali? Is this game out on stream? It is out on Steam. Yeah, on Steam. What do I think of the new restock update? I think it's nice. I think it's a good quality of life update. But yeah, I think uh, it does say in the patch notes that if you have like, I think it said if you had like a lower end PC, it's going to affect it or some sort of something. But they, they, they do have it in the patch notes being like this is going to, you know, uh, be extra, extra, extra hard working in this update. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. There we go. You should buy one box of everything and put it on the shelf. I mean, that's the goal. That is the goal. You wish the uh, restockers weren't assigned certain sections. You wish the restockers weren't assigned certain sections. Uh, or they were. Maybe you meant were. You wish they were. Because they aren't currently right now. They're not assigned to sections. In Re King of Retail, you could definitely uh, assign them to sections of the store, which was really cool. Hello, Fogger. How are you, Fogger? You made a daiquiri. Oh. I like your style. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, 
We paid our bills. Yeah, we paid all the bills. Yeah. The new mirror cash registers would work well in your store so customers move toward the exit. Don't they move toward? Wait, what? <laughs> you confused me. Don't they already move towards the exit? Wait, what do you mean by that? Mine are all because three of them are just standing there and one is working, so I'm confused. Do they only stock certain items? Uh, no. You ju do you have every? Do you have all the items put out on the shelves, like labeled I items and stuff like that? If not, it could be a bug with the stockers, but uh, they don't have certain sections or anything like that. It made you laugh when you read the patch notes that that the update will struggle with lag and I'm not using a lower NPC and it's a pain with lag. <laughs> no, the stalkers are all random. It looks like they're programmed to just randomly get what's next in the queue, which means basically like whatever's availability is next to queue up to refill a certain shelf. It seems like that's how the stalkers are uh, are operating. They move towards the wall. Oh, not on my register. Well, they have to move towards the wall. I'm up against the wall, right? Like they come to me, they come to the wall, right? They, I'm, huh? Yeah. Is that the best way to make a profit a little over market price? I can't make a profit each day for ish. Um, I guess if you ask thousands of people on the internet, maybe. Uh, some people say a dollar over the market price. Some people say a dollar under the market price. Nobody knows how to make money in this game. I think what's happening is... Um, uh, Economy-wise, I don't think it's keeping up correctly. Uh, there probably could... Be, you know, there's probably some sort of adjustment that needs to happen with the economy in the game, right? Uh, there's probably something like that if you're having a hard time like making profits in slow time and whatnot Like what we're doing right now is a very slow grind of like, okay, we're slowly restocking the store ever so slightly But we are technically making a profit. Just make sure you don't have any loans I guess is the best way I could I, 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 I you know best thing I could recommend Don't have any loans, you know Um I do 25 cents above the market price. So at least I, I round up to the nearest quarter. That's what I do. Do I really need more rice? Yes, I do. I do. I do need more rice. Thank you. I also need more shelves. There. Actually, I need to place that out. No? No. Dry spaghetti, I need to place out. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. Going, 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 going. Coming at you, buddy. Okay, it's 16.50. I make money each day, but I'm only level 20. I ordered one to two boxes and I have middle loan. Some people say like once they get bigger and bigger, in the super like once their supermarket gets bigger and bigger they seem to be having a hard time keeping up with the profits and whatnot now i don't know what's causing that but it, i have seen a little bit of discussion of like oh i'm having a hard time keeping up with whatever it might be right keeping up with the profits uh there we go there's the frame drop right there there we go i don't know where the hell i'm putting the spaghetti I think it goes right there, though. Yep, right there. Put it right there. Rice? Don't know. Don't care. Just throw it somewhere. Yeah, that's pretty good to say. Don't know. Don't care. Just throw it somewhere. There we go. There we are. I wish there was outdoor lighting, though. God, man. It's like, once an update comes out, none of us are satisfied. We can't... We, we want this. We, I wish we had this. I wish we had this. I wish we had... You know, look, I know it sounds... It sounds like, oh, you're never satisfied. But I think that's the point. 
I think that's the point of an early access game. You should expect us to wish and want more because it is an early access game after all, right? That's only natural. There we go. There we go. Hello, Molly Joe. How are you? What's going on? Fredneck. How are you, Fredneck? What's going on? Good to see you. All right, there we go. Do I have people waiting? Oh, shoot. People are waiting on me. Sorry, sorry, sorry. My bad. My bad, my bad, my bad. Have a good one. Do take care. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shoot. Mm -mm. Buy some lights for the stock room. And see, that's the thing. There is lights in the stock room. It's just not light enough. But there is lights in the stock room. Mm -hmm. I really loved when you played the disco game. Your energy was amazing. Couldn't stop laughing. That disco game. That was something else, wasn't it? That was a fun little game. It was a fun little game. UK, do you know what hot tamales are? Do you know what this is? If you live in the UK, do you know what this is? Please, let me know. Two customers were satisfied. One customer found a product too expensive. We made $20. Okay. Uh, we're just going to open up right away. No need to wait around. No need to wait. Just come on down. You do not know what a hot tamale is. How dare you? I do, but they aren't sold here. My God. I do not know what they are. Damn it. You have no clue. You dislike cinnamon candies. Damn it. You know what candy I don't like? And I don't know if they have this in the UK or not. Um, Those Boston... What are they called? Boston beans? You know what I'm talking about? Those red Boston beans? I do not like those. I do not like those. Boston baked beans. Yeah, Boston baked beans. Those things. I do not like those. Good and plenty yuck. Yeah, like, okay. I've told this story before on the channel, but like, I used to go over to my grandma's house, right? And she used to have a candy, a candy vending machine in her house because she's like that. You know, you put a quarter... In the candy vending machine. It was like old school like candy vending machine, right? You put a quarter in the vending machine and you get candy. The problem was is every time we went over there, the candy vending machine was populated with good and plenty. As a child, you don't know how bad I wanted to turn the thing and then watch the candy come out but you don't know how bad as a child how disappointed i was when a good and plenty came out look i don't like black licorice i don't like the taste of it <clears throat> i know black licorice is like oh that's the og that's what licorice is red vines isn't licorice first of all stop you're wrong because red vines are licorice. I know you might say they're not and they probably aren't, but trust me. Red licorice is licorice. Red vines is licorice. <sighs> That's licorice. I gotta go pay my bills. Tell me how you really feel, Cans. Tell me how you really feel. 
I'm trying. Joink. Red vines are terrible. What? You ever go to the movie theater? Have popcorn? They give you a large popcorn. They say, would you like butter on that? And you look at the guy. You're like, are you kidding me? Yeah, I would like butter on that. And then he puts butter on the popcorn. And you look at him with like a side eye. Like, how dare you ask me that question? And then he hands you the popcorn. And he hands you a pack of red vines. And then on your way to the movie theater, you stop at the butter station because you have to add even more butter onto the popcorn because you like extra butter. You have so much butter on the large popcorn that when you're eating your, your popcorn during the movie, you're bathing in butter. That is when red vine licorice is top tier. You mix the butter popcorn with the red licorice. And there, that's called going to the movies. You've never had red vines, but you've only had Twizzlers. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, Twizzlers aren't even that good either. Oh my god. Oh no. You've had the worst of the of the red rope. Butter <laughs> yeah. station is awesome. Yes. Yes. Butter look. The guy says, would you like more butter on that? I say, yes. And then sometimes if I'm feeling extra cheeky, would you like butter on that? Actually, can you put extra butter on that? You know, and then I go and sneak to the butter station afterwards and put my own extra butter on it. You double down on the butter. That's how you do a movie. Trust me. You want to know how to do a movie. You got to go to the movies with me. What are you doing? And then you go to the bar and you're like, hey, can I get a drink? And then the bar gives you what you want. You take that drink back to your seat at the movie theater. Then you order, you pull up the app and you're like, yo, let me order some food so that they can bring it to me during the movie so I don't have to get up. That's how you do movie theaters. Some of you might be doing movie theaters wrong. Okay, we're not getting more salt. Five of that. Five of that. Five of that. Five of that. Luckily, the drinks are actually pretty cheap. Hang on, I'll be with you in a sec. Give me a moment. The really strong black licorice. I have a friend that actually really likes uh, the black licorice a lot. And I always was like, growing up, I was like, how are you doing that? I just, I don't know. You have to have like some sort of like, some sort of like taste. Like it, 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 it's, it's like, an, it, it's an acquired taste for sure. Right? It's like Marmite. <laughs> always come back to the Marmite. You either love black licorice or you hate black licorice. There's no in between. You now, is there? Yeah, it, it, it's 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 always going to go back to the marmite. I think, for sure. You have a jar of marmite right next to you. <laughs> so weird. Uh oh, forgot about that spot. There we go. Love black jelly beans. That's like black licorice, right? The black jelly beans. 
Where did the milk go? Oh, right there. Are these labeled correctly? Let me see real quick. These are not labeled correctly. There we go. You like sugar on your popcorn as well? Look. Sweet popcorn is good. Bacon. Bacon. Bacon grease on your popcorn is also good. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Sprite. Nope. You're going to see... The, you, remember video going to see Charlie the Chocolate Factory? Love the hat you had in the video. <laughs> okay, that hat I had in the video. That uh, Willy Wonka hat was a hat that I wore during a hollow... I dressed up as Willy Wonka. Some people, this might be the first time you've heard of this. I dressed up as Willy Wonka and I played a horror game on Halloween, I think, like two years ago. I dressed up as Willy Wonka and I sat down and I streamed start to finish the game, The Quarry, if anybody has ever heard of that game. In one sitting, we stopped or we started and we beat the game dressed up as Willy Wonka. It was quite fabulous. It was a great time. We had a very good time. That was a nine-hour stream. That was definitely a nine-hour stream. I think that's the longest stream I've ever done on you. Uh, ever. It's probably the longest stream I've ever done. Nine hours right there. You got to watch that. <laughs> if you just go to YouTube and just search, like, cans, the quarry, I think it pops up. Boom, bam, bada bing. There it is. Dun, dun, dun. And it was my first time playing the quarry. I don't play horror games a lot. I decided to play a horror game. It was Halloween. It was something. That's what it was. It was absolutely something. Bum, 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 ba, da, dun, dun, dun. I spent $60 on that game, then PS5 included it in the PS Plus after. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Ugh. That probably like was a stab to the stomach. Ugh. Don't you hate it when that happens? Ugh. I feel disgusted for you. Boy. That one hurt. That one hurt a bit, didn't it? That one hurt a bit. There we go. Milk. There we go. Oh, God. Okay. How did we do? Terrible. Great. Fantastic. Uh, bills potentially could be paid, but we're going fast. We're going fast. Faster, faster, faster. We need more yogurt, dude. Maybe, they, you know, take a day or two to not pay your bills. No, I'm not going to do that. Not going to do that. Next longest was probably The Little Lives over seven hours. Yeah, we played that game start to finish as well. Uh, Little Lives. If you've never seen Little Lives, look up. The, well, I know it's like kind of a long, long order to, to, to long, long. Look, I get it. Seven hours is a long time. But I have a game called Little Lives, a seven hour stream of Little Lives. And um, um, it's really cool. If you like life simulator kind of games, it kind of reminds me of The Sims a bit. We started out like homeless and then we became president in seven hours. It was quite fabulous. Um, I did get kind of roasted in that stream a bit in the comment section after because half of my life I was trying to have a girlfriend and get married and I didn't realize the person that I was pursuing happened to be lesbian and so I got shot down quickly but at the same time people were upset that I was trying to throw myself onto a lesbian but I didn't I didn't know 
she was swinging the other way. I didn't know. I didn't know. But that happened in that game. <laughs> that was a fun game. It's a little cheap, uh, cheap uh, game too. Uh, cheap on budget wise. And it's a nice little cool. It's a cool little, it's a very cool little game. Yeah. Little lives. 24 hour stream to celebrate 50,000 subs. Hell no. You're out of your freaking mind. Am I going to be playing Denizen when it drops next week? Yes, I will be. I will be. <laughs> Hello, funeral host. How are you? What's going on? Good to see you. How are you doing? Yeah. It had to do... I forgot what it was. It had to do something with a refrigerator. I, was I trying to give her a refrigerator as like a gift or something and she denied me or something? I don't even know, dude. I forgot what happened. That alone makes me want to watch. Yeah, dude, I uh, I didn't read like in her bio. I didn't read the full bio where it said, oh, she's interested in women. I didn't read that part and I assumed and that's what I get for assuming, right? That she was into me. Guess what? She was not. She absolutely was not. The option was to give her a gift. All you had was a fridge, so that's what she got. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, that's right. I Did I drive to her house, right? Is that what it was? Did I drive to her house? And I was like, hey, I want to give you a gift. And then, like, I was trying to romance her. And then I was like, well, I don't really have anything except for this refrigerator. <laughs> Here's a refrigerator. <laughs> Whoops. But I went from being homeless to getting a job to go in university and then eventually becoming president. Yeah. I was a president in a penthouse. It was wonderful. Yep. You know what happens when you assume. Yeah, yeah, I do. I do know exactly what happens. Went on a date to her house and gave her a refrigerator. That was the date, dude. I thought that was a pretty nice uh, date, if you ask me. I don't know if some... if Look, if I was dating a girl, right? And she came over and she's like, Yo, I got this, like, brand new refrigerator. That has, like, a TV built into it where you can... Or an app system built into it where you can see your... Uh, like, you know, you know how those fancy refrigerators are where you can see like, oh, let me just click a button. I can see what's inside. Like there's a camera inside your refrigerator. Like if she came over and gave me that, I'd be like, yeah, girlfriend of the year, right? Yeah. I wouldn't be upset. Little Lives is sort of a short game. Yeah, it is. A it is. It is somewhat, somewhat of a short game. Yeah, it's a, I, I forgot how much it is. I, I don't think it's more than $10. It might be just $10. As a, as a lesbian, am I single because I can't afford to give a woman a fridge? I mean, if you're living in my world, I, I, I think so. <laughs> Kaufman, thank you for following on Twitch. And thank you for the sub with your prime on Twitch. Hello. And Artsy, Artsy Mama, thank you for following on Twitch too. I see you, Artsy Mama. Sorry for the late thank you, but hello, I see you. Okay, cookies. Or sorry, cake. Candy. That's all I can afford. Alright, slowly but surely, we're building up. 
There we go. There we go. There we go. Actually, I gotta make sure this is labeled correctly. Um, it is labeled correctly. Okay, good. Wait a sec. Whoa, we're still open. I thought we were closed. Okay, we're still open. We're still open. Little Lives is around $10 right now on sale. If it has 10 hours worth of gameplay, you're going to buy it. I think it has that, and I believe it also has uh, some good replayability too. Because you could do a lot of things. You can choose like to be... Um, <clears throat> you can choose to build your life in certain ways. You, you can be a criminal. You can be you, all different kinds of things. Like It, it is sort of like the sim. It's like a very, very condensed sims experience if that makes any sense like if you could like play the sims you know but like fast forward <laughs> uh, that's practically what it is almost thank you Kaufman I appreciate that thank you very much good to see ya appreciate you Yeah, so glad you did. Absolutely. Yeah, there's not a lot of reviews on it because it's it's one of those games that's like has gone under the radar. Like it's one of those it's one of those it's one of those indie games that have um how would you say? One of those indie games that never got like a lot of love or attention. It's a pretty solid game. You know, if you like, you can even like customize your house. You put furniture in your house. I think you can even buy different cars and stuff to drive around the city. <clears throat> so yeah, there's, there's all different kinds of things. It's just one of those games that I don't think got a lot of love. Okay. That's already good. When it released. There we go. It's a very cheap hidden gem kind of. Yeah. I think the one thing about that game is that when you start, you don't want to stop until it's done, <laughs> which is why I did like, which is why I did. I sat and played it for a whole stream because I was like, oh, I don't want to stop playing this. Can I put the candy here? There it is. Sir, you better not be throwing away full boxes of stuff or I'm going to be pissed. Here we are. There we go. Okay. All right. We good? We good? We good? Send it. Okay. Satisfied customers is now ever so slightly increasing. That's good. That means we're doing something correct. Open up. Is that full? Is that full? Better be empty. There you go. There you go. I think that's the game that made you get a standing desk. Probably, actually. <laughs> probably. Probably a good... Probably a good, uh, good shout. Hello, John boy. I wish there were street lights. Me too. I wish there were sidewalk lights. Hello, Eliza. <clears throat> All right. Stretch it out a bit, you know? Right. Pay our bills first. Pay the bills. We're getting there. We're getting there. Ever so slightly. Need to check the prices again? I hope to God not. Jeez. Getting tired of checking the prices. Like, I want to put, like, one step, like, one foot forward. And it's, like, one foot back. One step forward, one step back. That's probably what I tr was trying to say. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come in. Uh, 
have a good one. Mm -hmm. You wanted to see the full stream, but something important was going on. I have I have to watch the oh, oh hang on. I have to watch the first one in half hours on the VOD, sadly. Oh, good. Oh, at least you can... Uh, th look, VODs is where it's at, though, right? I mean, the majority of the... Look, the majority of the people that watch are watching in VODs. So, it does suck missing, you know, lives from time to time. But at least the VODs are here for as long as the platform's up, right? Isn't that scary to think about? <laughs> It's very scary to think about. It's scary to think that I only exist because a platform exists. Not like physically. But like if one day YouTube was like, okay, we are shutting down, everything is gone, goodbye. Right? That would be very scary. Very, very scary. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know why I'm... Reset! No, no bad thoughts. No bad thoughts. Not 745. 475. I need chocolate too. There we are. There we go. Okay, good, 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 good. Good. There we go. Okay. Actually, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. There we go. Okay. Okay. We're good. We're good. That's why we have the Discord. That's right. We have the Discord. Uh, Discord, you know, for the people that do uh, come to the Discord and join the Discord, you know, and it's one way to know and keep in touch. <laughs> uh, just in case if uh, something tomorrow goes off the rails and everything shuts down. Ah, I can't stand watching YouTube ads. How dare they give us free entertainment on a platform that's completely free to use. Damn it. Look, they don't have ads. There's no ads, there's no us, there's no us, there's no them, there's no them, there's no we. There's no we. Guess it's back to freaking whatever the hell else we do. Hello, Abby, thank you for following on Twitch. Mm -hmm. Hello, Arbla. How are you, Arbla? How are you? Is there a close sign for the register? No, but that would actually be really cool. If you could like be like, oh yeah, can I just close this for right now? So I don't have to worry about people coming to it. Is Dealer Simulator worth it? Um, I forgot the price of that game. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Loan. Fifty. Want to see a pic of your sim self? I'll stock on this. What the hell did you just say? <laughs> I beg your pardon. <laughs> what? <laughs> I have a sim self. Is that what you mean to say or is that a type up? How would you start a new store knowing what you know now? Um, that's a good question. I don't know if I would change anything different. I probably would expand slower than quicker. That would probably be my thing. Expand slower, not quicker. YouTube is on from 7 a.m. till midnight in my house, so I paid for no ads. After a while, they get annoying. Yeah. I mean, look, YouTube is your primary uh, uh, primary source of entertainment. You know, invest in your primary source of entertainment, right? I watch YouTube more than I watch Netflix, Hulu, Crunchyroll, uh, Amazon Prime Video all combined. I watch YouTube the majority of the time. 
and look youtube premium look i know youtube premium is pricing region and all that everything is price region based you go on steam price region base you get a 60 dollar 70 dollar game on steam that's what 95 dollars in canadian dollars yeah but like 95 dollars in canadian dollars is about 70 dollars usd right they're kind of the same right somebody said steam sale tax i've never paid any sales tax on steam now i don't know if that's a state thing it might be a regional pricing thing right anybody and i'm asking anybody in the u.s anybody in the u.s have you ever paid sales tax on steam because i don't pay sales tax on steam we don't we don't have that i don't have that there's no sales tax on steam You've paid sales tax on Steam. Okay, so even that is probably like a state-based thing. Like, what we pay for on Steam, at least where I live, where I live, is if a game is $59.99, I pay $59.99, that's it. There's no, like, additional taxes on that. There's, no, no, there's nothing else. It's a flat $59.99. Now, on Xbox or PlayStation Xbox or PlayStation anybody who buys games on Xbox or PlayStation do you pay sales tax on Xbox and PlayStation because when I buy games off Xbox and PlayStation I don't get any sales tax on there either so yeah I think the sales tax is state based as well I want to ask Jefferson if they or if anybody in here lives in florida hey subscriber do you pay sales tax for florida for like steam games or stuff like that hello norman it's kind of an interesting thing right it's a very look it's a very regional thing by the way thank you sydney for freaking subscribing hello Like, if I go buy a game off Xbox, I'm just going to pay the flat $59.99, whatever it might be. If I buy something on Steam, it's a flat $49.59, whatever it is, right? So, it, it's very much... Oh, God. It's very much region pricing. We kind of forget about region pricing now, don't we? There we go. And the, the thing is, is that, like, there's a new game coming out called Dogma 2. I'm sure someone has heard of it. But there's a lot of lot of talks going on on Twitter, on the Twitterverse, where people are very, very upset about the price. People don't think it should be a $69.99 game, even though it's been developed for five plus years and it's massive budget and things like that. And then they say the Canadian dollar is about $95.00. And I don't know, I could be wrong. I don't know what the exchange rate is between 95 Canadian dollars to US dollars. Is that like $70 as well? I'm not sure. But it's like a full price game, right? It is a full price game. The one thing that um, has, like, inflation has always, like, affected all of us through the 21st century to some degree. Up and down, up and down, up and down economy. Nothing has, uh, gaming has not... A single time adjusted to the economy ever when the economy was bad or when the economy was good never has adjusted it's always been the same there we go so supermarket sim was 1377 for you interesting very interesting huh very interesting bobby d thank you for becoming a member and thank you for the take a load off I appreciate that. Thank you, Bobby D. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Very generous of you. Hello, Siyuku. How are you? We get taxed to use O2. Oxygen? <laughs> I 
but then it's probably i don't know is it cheaper where you live compared to you know where other people live right it, it, all, it all depends i actually need to put this out right yeah there we go games with subscription is also taxed oh my gosh Mm hmm I appreciate that Bobby thank you thank you I appreciate that thank you thank you very much 6% state sales tax here well I mean that's I, look here I think it's like seven and a half but and I think we also pay tax on food which I know a lot of people don't pay tax on food but I think we pay taxes on food as well I don't know. I haven't really consciously thought about that. I kind of just get food because I need food to survive. Mm -hmm. Have I played Civ 6? If you have, what tips do you recommend for first time players? I have played Civ 6. I adore Civ 6. I adore the civilization. Well, I, I like Civ 5 and Civ 4 more than Civ 6, but it's still a good experience. I don't have any tips really for new players. The only thing I could really, really suggest is that uh, play, play, and play, and keep playing. Those are one of those games that you play more, you play more, you get better, you get better, you learn more. Uh, it takes like five, six runs to like know, okay, you know what? Now I feel comfortable, right? It's just one of those games you keep playing to get better. There's not really any like tip tips though that I, I have. Mm -mm 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 -mm. your city is food taxed oh my lord civ 5 is my drug <laughs> california taxes are high yeah tell me about it i just paid a shit ton of money in taxes for tax this year or last year there we go. Okay. All right. We're good. We're good. Let's open. There we go. Let's go. Hello, Chris. How are you? Uh, Sims 5 or 6 is like the Sims 4. No, Civ, not Sims. Civ. Civ. Civilization. <clears throat> Next update, the stalkers are supposed to be able to take boxes off the ground. Yeah, take it off from the uh, sidewalk and be able to put it in the stalker. Stock, a storage room. Yeah. Main charges five and a half sales tax. Five and a half percent. And I do pay taxes, sale tax on Steam. Main does not charge sales tax on food. Interesting. I wonder what, I, I guess, I don't know what the sale... I wonder if there's a digital maybe there's like a digital goods sales tax right is there a digital sales good a digital goods sales tax i was actually thinking about this last night i was having a kind of a a moment at like three in the morning where i stare at the ceiling and just slip slowly into madness um i was sitting there thinking like how if like digital goods versus physical products right I love physical products. They're lovely. They're wonderful. It feels good to own your own game, right? But then, like, digital products are so convenient, right? And so I was thinking, what if tomorrow Steam, Steam as a platform, shut down? It's gone, falls off the face of the earth. How many games would we lose? Hundreds? Thousands? I guess it depends on your library. A couple hundred games? 500 games? Maybe a thousand games, right? It's almost like gambling in a way, right? <laughs> We're gambling with our with our media, isn't it? I mean, it's one of those things like what if someone just one day just pulled the plug? <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap, what are we gonna do? 
But then again, it's the convenience. And now, only the convenience that comes through is like mostly AAA, high quality, not high quality, higher tier budgeting, bigger companies. Their games typically hit, uh, you know, physical copies, marketplaces, and things like that. I think if Steam were to die, something like that were to ever happen, just something, a platform to fall off, it would devastate the indie indie development scene indie developer scene to all hell it would be the end all of indie devs i think if that were to ever happen that would be terrible absolutely terrible <laughs> let's do nope that's nine hundred dollars can't afford that yet no oh, thank you there is a digital sales tax in your state. Oh, okay. So there is digital goods sales tax. Okay. Yeah. So that might be something that, you know, I wonder what digital sales tax in some states are then. Well, it's kind of like gambling, you know, and some states you're allowed to gamble, uh, online. I don't think it's allowed. I don't think we're allowed to online gamble here in California. I don't think it's, I don't think we can. What happens if your Steam account gets banned? Do they refund all your all the games you bought? Probably not. There's probably something written in like some agreement that you, uh, you know, probably agreed to in a 37 page document where you created your account saying like, no. <laughs> well, I go back to open sewer up right now. There's no plans. I can't say indefinitely. No, but there's no plans at the moment. If they don't refund you, that's theft on their part. Uh, I don't know if it's theft. No. Not if you agree to it. You can still play most games bought on Steam without launching Steam. Like, not through... Like if you downloaded, wait a sec, like offline, is that what you mean? Hello, Subu. How are you? You can gamble in California. Well, gamble online. There must be some restrictions to some apps then, unless they've changed. They might have actually changed the law maybe a year or two ago because there was, you weren't able to. <laughs> my dad tells everyone that he was born in a small town in california called la <laughs> i love that <laughs> you purchase a screenshot of your hang on let me look at this screenshot here in the discord because i am very curious i want to see what it looks like yeah yeah, that's uh, that exactly that you showed there does not happen. Yeah, I do not. That tax thing does not come up on my end. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. Huh. The more you know. Had no idea. See, when I bought games, I just assumed everybody was following the same rules. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> we just get the game straight up. There we go. Yeah, you, I thought you couldn't, like, you couldn't launch games without Steam either if you bought through Steam, right? So if the entire platform were to, like, shut down and go out... Right? Then you want to be able to access your library. I'm trying to think of something that would be kind of... I'm trying to think of something that would be somewhat relatable to that. Like, if you bought something digitally and something happened to you or to the company, would you be able to 
get your games back, right? And nothing comes to mind. Actually, that's not what I wanted that to go. Nothing, not, not another platform comes to mind. I don't know why I'm doing that. Comes to mind. Uh oh, oh God. Um, where did I put this? Must have already took it. I'm even thinking like music, music or movies, right? If you bought movies, I don't know if you bought movies on Amazon, you bought whatever, you know, you bought movies off Amazon prime video. Like if Amazon were to shut down tomorrow, like, okay, well, I guess you don't get that anymore. Right? Like I was always the person that would go to like the nine, you know, not the nine, but the midnight showing or midnight showing the midnight, um, midnight launches of video games back in the day. And I, I mean, I, it was really fun to go, go, go to the midnight launches. But the reason why I went was not just because, not just because the game was releasing, but because the people, right. That were there also like for the release. But when digital games started to be more convenient and more frequent, uh, people stopped going to those things. And so it was like, we kind of stopped doing them. Right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I remember having to sit and read full EULAs on games when I was a kid and filling out the registration card to mail in for a license to play it. <laughs> Midnight launches, pizza parties and stuff. They were fun. Yeah, dude, people would like bring their... People would bring like... I remember people brought like pickup trucks and they would like hook up TVs in the back of the pickup truck and whatnot. Like it used to be a whole, whole shebang. Now everybody's like, ah, oh, do I want to drive across town? I could literally get the game pre-installed and launch it right at 12 AM, which is different because for me, I don't wait for, we don't wait for 12 AM because we wait till 9 PM. Once it hits 12 AM on the East coast, it unlocks for us at 9 PM on the West coast, which I would say it's kind of nice, you know, especially for those new release games where it's like, okay. Especially if you have to, if you have to work in the morning, right. And you, you know, stay up all night playing the game. At least you just, you know, get the game at 9 PM. You don't have to stay up too late to play. Right. There's a little bit of benefit to that. Bum, 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 bum. There we go. And we'll do the bills and all that here later. Bills and loan later. Whoops. Okay. Put the soap out, please. Thank you. Trying to avoid looking in that one area. <clears throat> I love to have hard copies and have driven hundred of miles to find and get hard copies still to this day. I like hard copies too, but the only time I buy hard copies now, if it's something that I really, really, really like enjoy, there used to be a time where like you would buy a bunch of hard copies. Yeah. What the hell did I do over here? You would buy a bunch of hard copies, right? And, um, the problem was, is that you would kind of be forced to buy in hard copies. It was before like the whole digital thing. And then you'd be stuck with like physical copies of games that you really didn't really care for that much. And then you take it back to GameStop to get wrecked or EB games or wherever the hell you took it, you know, but I like buying physical games. If it's a game I really care about like, oh, let me buy four copies of Stardew Valley, something like that. Right. You should really get hard copies of your favorite games and the best place that I even do I even go if like the local game shop doesn't have anything uh, I like just like getting stuff on eBay, you know Even eBay, right? Get some nice hard copies 
from time to time. Sometimes you can get really good deals. Can't believe I missed two paydays on that. Ooh, that's a big one. Thank you. Appreciate that. Where have I traveled to recently? Um, hey, subscriber. I was in Anaheim slash LA last hey, month. Subscriber. Yeah, last month. Vlad, thank you for subscribing. Cal, thank you for subscribing as well. Appreciate it. Hello, Kalia. How are you? Some older games, the only possible way to even play them is finding it on eBay. That's very true. That's actually how I got the... I, I have like four or five copies of like Herbs, Sims in the City. And then I was able to get like a Japanese version of Herbs, Sims in the City from Japan. I didn't even know existed. It took about a month to get, but I got it. And I was like, this is sick, dude. I love this. I haven't played it. Because I'm afraid, because I probably won't understand it. Unless there's an English translation in the game, which I don't know about. Right? There might be an English trans... I don't know. Anybody that plays, like, Japanese games, is there, like, ever an English translation that you can go to in those games? That's very ignorant of me probably to say, but I'm curious. By the way, thank you, Psychic Toaster, for gifting out a membership and gifting it straight to Neo. Hello. Appreciate that. There's also movies that I have to like really think about. Like, okay, I want a hard copy of this movie as well, right? You only want to play The Sims 2 and hey, you have a Sims subscriber. problem? <laughs> You bought this game, but haven't played it yet. You're going to be playing it soon this weekend, yeah? <clears throat> Gillespie. I see you, Gillespie. Big Kevin Gillespie. Thank you for following on Twitch, and thank you, Mikey, for subscribing. Hello, Mikey. And S Farmer 530. Hmm. 530? Is there a significant to that 530? Let me know, because if there is, thank you for becoming a member. Appreciate that. Every time I see 530, my eyes perk up a bit. Mm -hmm. There we go. We are way behind on the bills. Way behind on the bills today. Not having hard copies is the reason why I have a 20 terabyte storage drive. My whole movie library, music library is on it digitally. That's awesome. I love that. That's very cool. I like that. I like that a lot. I would think some games made for a specific language would have translations just like how how games made in English you could usually find Spanish. Yeah, that's that well that, that's what I was thinking too because I was like if I if I wanted to play this game, I hope that I could maybe put it in English, but I'm not sure if that would be possible if the game was developed that way, right? Old badge number. Ah, it wasn't an area code. All right. Fair enough. Where's the stalker? He, they're in and out. They're in and out. Twelve twenty five. AI glasses for translation. Is that a thing yet? Honestly, I think it is. I think it is. Almost. There's a part of me that I believe there is actually. <laughs> AI augmented uh, glasses or not 
AI, but at least augmented glasses. Hell, the Apple Vision Pro probably does that now, right? Cyprian Adam, how are you doing? How are you? Good to see you. Welcome in. Ritzel, I finally caught you live. I've binge watched all your videos. Hope your day is well. No, hope your day is well. Ritz, is it Ritz? Probably Ritz, right? Hello, Ritz. Don't even start with the chicken. I'm looking at you. Hey. Watch yourself. AR glasses. Is that what they're called? AR glasses? Yeah, augmented reality glasses. There's quite a bit. Apple obviously has like their own Vision Pro, but like there's like other companies that also have we're on day 99. Holy crap. There's also other companies that have that kind of stuff too. Um ba -ba 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 -ba. open up right away. There we go. Coming in here saying chicken. I'm going to call you a chicken. Ritz like the crackers. Does anybody, do you in the UK, anybody in the UK have Ritz crackers? You guys have Ritz? No, yes, no. I had Ritz the other day. What about like the, the Ritz hotel? Is that what it is? Uh, I like to eat Ritz with, with cheese. Eat Ritz with like a cheddar cheese. Eat Ritz with like a pepper jack cheese. Ritz and cheese. Yeah. You do have Ritz crackers. Okay. At least you have something. For a second there, I thought you guys were starving to death. That's great. <clears throat> Can I play an instrument? I cannot. Unless you count me poorly playing the recorder. Have I had any problems with lagging in the storage? Yes. What were the updates? The major update was the stalker update. Do Canadians have Mars bars? Good question. <laughs> Recorder is an instrument. Yeah, but like, if you count me being able to play it, right? I can't play it. I can hardly play it. So if you count that as me playing it, then yes. Your jar of Marmite is empty. Oh my God. Vegemite or Marmite? Oh, yeah, yeah. Not this again. Oh, no, no, no. There we are. I would like to expand the storage, but I don't think that's going to be freaking possible, dude. Our money growing has just been terribly slow, man. Very, very slow. Very, very slow. <clears throat> I love Ritz, but they don't like me. I'm sorry. Do they backhand you or something? What the hell are you talking about? Most of us were forced to play the recorder in grade school. That <laughs> I was one of those children. It was kind of messed up too, because they would like charge you. They'd be like, okay, you you have to take this slip to your parents and your parents have to buy you this recorder. And then we're gonna have this guy come in every Friday who has long brown hair, who comes in with like a fancy wooden recorder. And then you have to play your plastic baby recorder and then you're graded on that yeah practically how that all was but yeah grade school baby grade school hey subscriber Thank you, Cozy Bear, Tish, Ritz, hey, and the Iron subscribe. Boy for subscribing. I appreciate that, y'all. Hello. Welcome in. Hey, subscriber. Recorders aren't that expensive. 
look if they're more than a dollar they're expensive hey subscriber why no disrespect to anybody that professionally plays a recorder but i don't think i've ever met anybody but how much fun do you have playing a recorder look i was not into like i was not into like band like i didn't i wasn't part of band or anything like that i don't know what the tier of coolness on band instruments like oh i can play a violin i'm at the top oh i can play a piano i'm at the top oh i play tuba i'm at the bottom i don't know what the social level of tier is like recorder probably below tuba that's my guess so if you have to spend more than a dollar i think that's expensive for a low tier instrument <laughs> For a low tier instrument. Okay. Ah! Still can't pay my bills. My lord. Ooh, I play the saxophone. I get all the ladies. Right? I get all the band girls because I play saxophone. I played trumpet and French hor horn first chair. <laughs> I play trumpet. I'm top tier, right? I'm at the top of the food chain. I, You know, I don't know what the social like the uh, social structure was there. I was badass at the triangle and flute. <laughs> Where the hell does the triangle fit on the tier? <laughs> that that triangle is top tier, hands down. <laughs> <laughs> That's a top tier instrument there. <laughs> Clarinet, third chair. Guitar? I guitar doesn't even get a chair. They're off to the side doing their own thing. Piano? They have their own chair. Trumpet, first chair. Clarinet, third chair. <laughs> Triangle? outside of the gymnasium <laughs> outside down the street at the preschool entertaining the children <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <sighs> oh 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 there we go frame drop there Whew. Almost got stuck. Am I going bankrupt? What's going on? No, what's happening is we're paying a lot of money in um in in our loan. And we're trying to restock the store uh very heavily. Ever so slightly. It's just taking a little bit of time to like stock the store. Um but it's mostly the loan that is actually um tearing us apart right now. If we didn't have to pay like $325 a day on loans, uh, that would be lovely. All I need to do is really sell out the store, I think. Yeah. If I could sell out the store, get rid of this loan, $4,200, brother. Not happening. It, it's just a slow grind. It is. It's, it's one of those slow grinds. Yeah. How much did we borrow? We bought the borrow the five thousand dollar one. Get another loan to pay it off. I don't have enough money to pay it. Like, look, even if I got another loan, I can't pay it off. I can't get a four thousand dollar loan. I don't think I can. Oh, 
Oh, I can only get a $2,000 loan. Uh oh. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Take the other loans to stock. Then I will be drowning in loan debt. I don't want to be loan debting. Triangle still higher than the recorder. I agree. Have I checked the prices in a while? I have. I've never got a loan. That's probably why my store is making money. Yeah, I would have to probably agree. I don't think... I think the loan... Um, the loan is... Look, any anytime we... Anytime that we finish off a loan, we start to make a lot of money, right? Anytime we take a loan out, we take a loan out to expand the store. And then that kind of like slows the process even more and more, right? Your store looks sad and empty. Look here. Don't point out the obvious. How dare you? Which, by the way, also reminds me. Anytime we're looking at any ledger or anything. I don't know if it's uh, like being shown, but I'm not seeing where I'm not seeing our money being paid to our employees unless I'm missing it, but I'm not seeing where our money is being deducted from for our employees. Now at the beginning of every day, it says $180 automatically paid, right? It says that, but I'm not seeing like a number going up or down on that yeah what happens if you charge a credit card too much nothing happens actually bad wolf hello says thank you for the series you bought the game now you can't stop playing it well i'm glad you're enjoying it <laughs> yeah it says it in the top right in the morning but no number actually changes that's the only thing so i don't understand or I don't see where the money for the employee is actually going. It shows it with the rent. Is that right? Let me see. Well, this can't be it because that would be incorrect. Uh, this would also be incorrect too. So none of these would be it, right? Because it would be $180. So I don't know where this money is being taken out of. Or when it's being taken out of either. Watch. We'll see at the end of tonight. We'll see it at the end of tonight. And we'll show how much money we have at the end. And then in the morning, we'll see where the money drops. If it does drop. But I don't think the money is dropping. You're watching you from Banco. Banco? Can I ask where and what is Bonko? <laughs> yes, it does say auto pay, but it doesn't show that it's taking out. I don't know. Unless people are just assuming. Let's just see. Look, we'll test it. Science. At the end of tonight, we'll see how much money. And we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. You've been playing this all day since you've been off work, Sarah. Are you enjoying it? Yeah. I don't want to buy that actually. Hit the loan. 3,900 left on that. 110 left on that. There we go. 875. Boom bada bing. You never seen anyone get paid. That's what I'm saying, right? I never seen anyone get paid. I've never seen a number. Well, I've seen a, a, a showing, but I've never seen like a number taking out of our of our account, right? Mm-hmm. They never go home. They just stay there. That's true. <laughs> I 
I think it's taken off the total sales for the day amount. Oh, we're going to see, baby. We're going to see. Everyone's now questioning what is happening. <laughs> I look, it's not I don't know. That's that's what we're saying every day. It says it, but it doesn't actually do it. That's what we're questioning here. They take the money first thing in the morning so you don't get to see it. We're going to see. We're going to see. We're going to see. That's all I can say is we're going to see. Is it true? Is it not true? I know it shows in big red letters, but it doesn't mean the money's being taken out when it comes out. You don't see the number drop. Lou! So happy to catch you live. Good to see you. Hello, Lou. How are you, Lou? Welcome in. Oh, I can't wait to show you this. We're going to see what happens. The end of the day card, it doesn't say anything about employee expenses. No. <clears throat> Shady business is what's going on here. I agree. I agree. I'm doing something. <laughs> These guys are here 24-7. I'm still screwing with them. They've been pocketing some money is what's happening. That's what's happening. Watch. We'll do this. We'll show you. We'll show. I'll, I'll make sure to show you everything. We saw the bills in the computer. Nothing in the bills of the computer added up to $180. Because that's how much we're paying for four workers. $180. Yeah. I don't want anybody to say, I told you it says big red letters, it's taken out. That's not the discussion here. The discussion here is the money physically coming out of the account, not the word this. You have to see it in action, baby, not read a prompt, right? See it in action. Ba -da -dun 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 -dun. You're watching from Thailand. Oh, I see you. Hello. Shout out to Thailand. Absolutely. Are we ready for this? Are we ready? Are we ready? Are we ready? Everybody pay attention now. Still got another customer. Hang on a sec. One sec. Come on, sir. All right. That's fine. Just one sec. Don't point at the cashier. Okay. Listen. $475. Do you see that number up there in the top corner? $475. Nothing here says employee expenses, first and foremost. Next day. $475. I paid staff $160. Where? When? When did I do any of that? I didn't do that. This is what I'm talking about. We're not paying anybody anything. The workers are working for free. You see what I mean? Did you see that? You saw that. Yes, it says in big red letters that we did it, but no number changed. By the way, thank you, Ninrox, for gifting us, uh, gifting a membership out to Sakura. I appreciate that. So, they're working for free, man. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if that needs to be changed. Because, look, if you say it's in the bills, I disagree. Nowhere here tells me $180... Or 100 and, 100 and even $60, sorry. None of this shows $160. Let's just say 
the game miscalculated and they said, oh, we don't actually mean $160. We mean $150. Well, that's still not right because we still have to pay for like electricity and whatnot, right? Yeah. Anyways. No, you do not pay for employees in this game. <laughs> I'm going to... I'm going to say it right now until they fix it. Yeah. It is taken off of today's sales and it doesn't show it on the manifest. It just skims it from the sales you do this day. What the hell does that even mean? Uh, I beg your actual pardon. That doesn't make sense. That makes no sense. You know what? I'm going 275. There's nothing, there's nothing that shows me. The funds drop throughout the day. Is that what it is? Is that what it is? Is it an hourly rate thing? I'm going to keep my eye on it now. Are we paying by hourly? What the hell are we doing here? I'm watching the hours now. We didn't pay him that hour. Hello, Apollo. How are you? Hello, Mike. How's it going? Good to see you. Welcome in. Welcome in. Hope you're all doing well. Unless you add every single sale as it happens, you'll never see it. So you're telling me every single sale. Wait a sec. Are you telling me they're taking a commission on every sale? Because even if that was the case, that wouldn't add up either. Because they're getting a flat rate of, wait a sec, timeout. What the hell does the computer say? It just as a daily wage of a flat rate of $80. They would have to perfectly match $80 of commission in every sale, right? That wouldn't make sense. I don't think that's possible. That would really rubber band the experience, now, wouldn't it? You would love to be paid in beer. I kind of like where this is going. Hello, Keisha. What's the red negative on the on the right? So the red negative that's popping up is not money. The red negative at the top that pops up is uh, XP. Now, the reason why it pops up is because the customer doesn't find everything they are looking for, which is the red XP, right? I honestly don't think the workers are being paid. One sixty doesn't make sense if you have four workers now. Let me see. <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't make any sense. I should be paying these people way more than that. <laughs> 160 for the cashiers alone. 180 for the restockers. So what's 160 plus 180? That's like 340, right? I should be paying them $340 a day. <laughs> this is all jacked up, dude. I don't know what the hell is happening. I don't think anybody's getting paid anything. Is it 440, not 340? Somebody needs to get paid here. Oh my God. Good thing I'm not paying them or I would be screwed. I don't know. Couldn't tell you. Is it 340? Okay. <laughs> I, I don't think they're being paid. 
I don't think that's going into our uh, economy here. Now I do wonder. Hang on, I want to let's we'll we'll experiment we'll we'll experiment with another thing here. Let's experiment with another thing. So it seems like first of all we'll pay that. It seems like the only people that are getting paid are the cashiers. So let me fire the cashiers and let's just have restockers and let's see if the restockers get paid in the morning. Now it's going to be different because I think when we turn over this day to the next day, um, we already had the cashiers working. We have to need, we need to go through a whole day where there's nobody running the cashiers, right? And we'll just run it. Let's see where our money goes. Cause I don't know what the frick is going on. There's a lot of, Hang on, I'll be right there in a sec. There's a lot of question marks going on with the economy in this game, isn't there? God damn it. I should just, like, sell a register, honestly. That's what I should do. But it doesn't matter, because it's not like we're paying them anything. Right? We're not paying them anything at all. Mm, 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 mm. Goofy lover, thank you for following on Twitch. Hello, Goofy lover. What's going on? Good to see you. Welcome in. Yeah, if I'm firing the register, if I'm firing the, firing the cashiers, pack up the registers. Right? But then it's like, well, I should just have the cashiers because they're not getting paid, right? So it's good to have them. I don't know what is happening. I'm trying my best is all I'm trying to do. How do I box this stuff up? Like that. There we go. Okay, we'll place this in here for now. Can I actually place that in there, you think? Probably not. Hey, whoa, 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 we're testing stuff out. That's what we're doing. We're testing things out right now. I mean, we have to at this point, right? Don't tell the dev. <laughs> I wonder if anybody's like noticed like, it's like, yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, it does say like, I guess all of us, I say all of us, but maybe some of us knew rather than others but like the majority of us were just saying oh yeah we saw like oh staff wages are being paid in the morning no big deal but like i guess none of us actually sat and thought like oh where is the calculation on that coming from right where is that dollar coming from because it doesn't seem to be coming out of my pocket right i don't know where it was coming in Good bugs are not bugs. Nope. They're features. <laughs> Hello, Naren. How are you, Naren? Have a good night, Bobby. Thanks for hanging out with us. Have a good rest of your night. Do take care. Thanks for becoming a member, too, as well. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. Have a good rest of your night. So look at that. We're already at the end of the day, right? So how it should go tomorrow is I'm expecting it should go $160 because we had the reg we had the cashier uh people today. So if I don't know what it's going to say. They need to add they need to add a employee expense here. <laughs> Never mind. The prompt just didn't show up at all. All right. So you can have stalkers work for you for free. You can also have cashiers work for you for free. There you go. 
There you go. What else? What else? Ooh, frame drop. Everybody works for free. Nobody pays anything. They're all interns. That takes me back to the 70s in a way we could use... We use buy candy for pennies. They're just happy to be there. <laughs> They're just happy to work here is all. Free stalkers. They don't pay. Or they don't get paid. Cashiers. They don't get paid. Now, okay. When you hire a cashier now... Um, it says there's a hundred dollar hiring fee, right? But I don't think a hundred dollars comes out of our bank account when we hire them. Watch four eighty five. Okay, hundred dollars actually comes out for the hiring fee. So the hiring fee works. It's the daily wage that doesn't work. Is the problem? Yeah. You afford $340 a day right now? I mean, that's how much I should be paying is $340 a day as far as like all of the employees, right? Give me that back. Excuse me. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. There we go. Perfect. They've seen your bank balance and just want to help uh, help me out. <laughs> That's very nice of them. You're playing right now and watching you. The devs are aware of these issues. Well, that's wonderful because I think they've been around, I think for a very long time now, right? I honestly think this is a new update thing. I think this is a uh, pre-update thing. I don't think this thing kind of... I don't think this kind of... I don't think this thing kind of spurred here in this update. I don't think so. Right? Yeah. Have I tried the mirror registers? No. No, I haven't. Mm, 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 mm. You're not convinced that we can dig out of this hole? We can. Trust me. We can. It's possible. We just need to get rid of the loan. And that's what we're working towards is trying to get rid of the loan mostly. We can get out of it. We, we are very, very, very capable of doing so. And hey, if we're not, then, you know, there needs to be something said there, right? But what I'll probably do is I'll trim it down to two boxes of everything so that at least then... I was hoping that I could do five boxes of everything and build up fast enough, but I think I'll do two boxes of everything and try to see if I can satisfy the customers more. The loan is in another 12 days. Not if we paid off early. We paid off early. That's what we want to do. We don't want to pay it off on time. That should go probably like in real life discussion too. <laughs> Most of the time you want to pay your loan off early and not... Not on time. There we go. All right. Let's see here. Let's 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 pay our bills first and foremost, and then we'll buy two of everything. God, if we can even afford two of everything, Jesus. Okay, two. Oh shite! Get rid of all that. Okay, two, 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 and this will at least. Please, the customers, make them more satisfied. Impressive. There we go. There we go. On it. Get on it. Quickly, 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 boys. Oh, wait. I have a thing thing, don't I? There we go. Perfect. Mm 
<laughs> this is the rags the riches story, baby. That's right. That's right. You best believe it. Best believe it. Oh my lord. That frame drop really is is a knocker, isn't it? There we go. Okay. And there we go. Okay. Back to the register. Do I have the lights on? I don't. F. Hello. There we go. You're playing me on the 80 inch TV right now? Whoa, holy crap. You're playing me on the 80 inch. It's like. What is that? Like. Is that like two feet of forehead? What is that? <laughs> there we go. 50. All this cereal? Was that necessary? $40 in cereal? You must have like some sort of cereal craze. My lord. Looks more like a foot. <laughs> Imagine you're the employee right now and you're breaking your back for $0 an hour. Mm -hmm. da, 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 da. If you want to be accurate with stock ordering, when your stockers have filled up the shelf, look at the shelf and go back and forth, adding to your order list what you need. Like that, you do that in a, in a very, like, in a very full store, though. She's a serial killer. Love it. <clears throat> We're kind of, like, not organized quite yet, though. That's the only thing. At least for our, like, stalkers and whatnot. Really, we're just kind of like, if it's there, send it, right? If it's there, go. Am I ever going to play PC building simulator? No, probably not. <laughs> That's a little bit too, a uh, little bit too technical for me. At least someone's back is getting broke. That's what she said. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Listen. All right. Let's let's see here. Let's kind of fill up the the, the shopping cart here for tomorrow. Uh, Do we get pasta in? Oh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, okay. Uh, we'll go with that. 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 Okay, hit me. Good. Order. Okay, let's not go yet. Let's stock the store first before they come in. Like... It's good to, like, have the store open now, but, like, it's also good to have the store stocked now, right? So let's wait a bit before we, you know, have the store stocked before the customers come in so they don't complain, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. All the above. There we go. Okay, in we go. Oh, crap. There we go. Please. Ma da 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 Quickly, quickly, quickly. Just put it out, put it out, put it out. Let them go, let them go. Let them fly. Let them fly them in their no wage working ass. Go, go, go. That's right. Onward. We should be able to fill up all the shelves, though. Oh, God. Oh, the frame drop is so bad. I ho I really hope they don't wait on the frame drop. Oh, God. 
Oh lord. Oh lord. I hope they don't wait on the frame drop. I hope they really like uh, do a hot fix very soon. Very soon. Yeah. There we go. This is getting bad, isn't it? Uh oh. Uh oh. We did it. I think we crashed it. We did it. I think we crashed it. We have crashed the game. Uh oh. Oh, there we go. Hold your breath. Because it's going to be a bumpy ride. Yeah, so I, I, I hope they at least put a hot fix in soon and they take care of that because that's that's kind of that alone is a little bit of a like game breaking in a way right they released a hot fix uh did they release a hot fix in the last two hours because if they did i don't have that hot fix but if they released a hot fix before the two hours then yes you needed to restart the game so the lag would stop. It must be a lot of, um, it must be a lot of, uh, what is it? There we go, save. It must be a lot of assets trying to load in all at once. Yeah. That's probably what it is. There's probably, I don't know what all could be, I don't know. I guess it would be the, the workers, the the restockers, right? Oh, the hotfix was from early this morning. Oh yeah, that's already been put in. Yeah. You've seen people say the lag won't happen once you upgrade your storage room. Interesting. Hello, Twisted Izzy. How are you? Uh, 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 uh. Hello, ma'am. Never mind. Goodbye, ma'am. Hello, Gothic Richard. How's it going? Five dollars from Lynn Rocks. The like button is going to unalive you. Hurry and smash it to save your life. Okay. There you go. <laughs> Thank you, Ninrox, for the super chat. Appreciate that. You have a fully upgraded storage room, and it was like that last night. It, it's it's probably the update. It's most likely the update. I mean, they the patch notes say that the game performance is going to be bad, which is a very odd thing to say. <laughs> you know, that kind of kind of brings up a. A good point though you kind of think i i really hope the people that are playing this game and i really hope the devs that are developed or i guess the dev that is developing this game i really hope they aren't they aren't being pressured too much i know we can be needy right and i know it can be very hard this game is popping right now everybody and their mother is playing it at the moment right and it's probably a lot of pressure to put out updates uh, efficiently but also quickly and it's to me it's a little odd releasing an update and in the patch notes saying oh by the way if your computer is not the best this is going to be a terrible experience for you right um, you would think something like that would be fixed and ironed out in time it almost argues like why why give us the update if you already know there's a problem with the update right and that kind of tells me hopefully there's not like a lot of pressure going on where people are like oh give me this give me this give me this give me this now right so yeah if that makes any sense and it could be probably hard you know Especially riding the wave like okay my you know look at it from like a developer standpoint like okay my my game is 
my game is very popular right now there's a lot of people playing it and there's a lot of people that want things from it right uh so i really want to give them these things but it comes at a cost right if you were to say like if we this week because we expected the the update to come out this week right if we expected it this week if the dev i don't know if the dev said it or not but if they're like oh hey we're gonna we're gonna do the update this week and the dev knew hey this is gonna be bad performance on your computer i'm gonna delay it two more weeks right would we be upset i would rather the delay happen than have to worry about frame rates frame rates being dropped computers being crashed games being crashed losing progress and also by the way workers don't get paid <laughs> you know uh simple gameplay mechanics aren't working correctly um the performance of, of the game is now to go downward with the latest update right i would rather wait a couple of weeks than you know does that make any sense right so I hope there isn't like a lot of, I don't know what it's like in the discord. Um, I have no idea. I don't know if it's like popping, right? Everybody and their mom is bugging and bugging and bugging myself and a few other people have told them. Yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> I don't know how it is in the discord, but imagine it's probably a lot of people. When, when is this? When is this? When is this? Right? Um, and especially if this is an indie dev, which I'm pretty sure it's their first game. It's probably a lot to learn, right? There's a, probably a lot to learn, right? I don't think building an indie game, you really expect. Sometimes they blow up and sometimes they don't, right? And maybe caught off, you know, kind of caught by surprise. Holy crap. This game is, is very much, uh, kind of being, uh, talked about a lot, a lot and everybody's playing it, right? So... Yeah, it's 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 probably a lot of a, le a learning process as well. Hey, subscriber, Brummy, thank you for subscribing. I appreciate that. <clears throat> it is true. Like the most vocal people start giving like bad reviews and stuff, which I do believe, at least on Steam, there needs to, Steam needs to regulate it a little bit more. There should be some sort of like criteria, like. You should have to play a game for five hours or maybe two hours, at least two hours or, you know, something like that to be able to give it a review. A lot of the time people review stuff and they have 0 0.1 hours in the game, right? And it's a bad review. There needs to be some sort of regulation on reviews on Steam, at least. I don't think it's fair. Uh, for someone to open up a game and play 0 0.1 hours and give it a bad review. I don't care what kind of game it is, right? I don't think that's I don't think that's a good idea. I say two hours only because that's like the limit of like when you can refund your game. Like, okay, this is a bad experience. I'm going to refund the game, right? I say five hours as just honestly just I think five hours is a good enough take on a game to really know if this game is for me or not right so what if the game is less than two hours yeah well that's different <laughs> that's different by the way look at our money now because then sometimes like you said, sometimes devs get a little bit pressured and they're like, crap, we need to put something out. When putting something out could actually, you know, kind of indirectly hurt the game. Like if, if there's like a big bug mess and everybody's like, oh, I don't want to play this anymore because I just get a massive frame drop, right? It's like, oh, I don't want to play this. I want to go play something else. And that hurts you in the, in the end, right? That, that hurts you in the long run. Right, so I don't know. It's a, it's a it's a difficult one for sure. Difficult one to manage. 
yeah that, i mean that's true if it's not and that's hard yeah that's that's it's hard it's hard to it's hard to regulate it right if a game is absolutely unplayable in the first 30 minutes right that's why i think if that's the case there should be some sort of like some sort of regulation some sort of department maybe that can be opened up or uh, freelancers that can be hired upon on steam's uh, behalf so that people can play these games before they can actually be officially launched on the platform right because there's been games where they just throw something out there on steam put fancy pictures and then it sells right there needs to be some sort of again like some sort of regulation as well uh blicky blicky thank you for following and thank you dr clutch for also following on twitch too like if you want to be back in the day they used to what back in the day big companies big gaming companies they used to have uh game testers right game testers don't really exist that much anymore um so i don't know i guess ramping up game testing on a platform right like oh if if your job was to test new games for steam I, you know i think that'd be kind of solid that'd be kind of interesting right and then then you can be like okay this passes its requirements it's a playable game i can actually run it so and so then you can get it released right something like that but i don't know sometimes even even games that have some sort of like agenda behind it like some sort of um i i hate to say like how would you say it games that might have like some sort of political aurora around it and then they just get review bombed just for existing kind of thing right that sucks you know hey subscriber it's not very much a fair a fair play now is it prozart thank you for subscribing as well hello prozart You would love to be a game tester? Test for a living? That'd be nice, wouldn't it? It's basically that. Yeah, we the customers are the game testers. And I guess there's uh, a lot to be said with like early access titles. I guess the majority of indie games are all early access. It's very rare nowadays that we get indie games that are full release, right? So I guess we are the testers, right? Yeah. Because I've literally played games um, that were unplayable. Like, completely, like, just, like, terrible. Terrible, unplayable, made no sense, and they charged, like, $10 for it, right? It's like, well, what the hell? Some people know about the refund system on Steam. Some people don't know about the re refund system on Steam. And the same goes for like PlayStation. Some people know, or Xbox. Some people know about the refund system on Xbox. Some people know about the refund system on PlayStation. But not everybody, right? Yeah. Game devs are using creators to test their games while watching. And I, that's true, but I don't, I don't. I don't like that approach necessarily because I have been given a lot of games and I've played a lot of games and there has been times where I've streamed new games expecting uh, a game to be uh, you know the game to be expect expecting the game to be somewhat uh, playable and I've actually we've actually it was like a month or two ago you know I played a game I'm sure you guys if you look at my delivery boy uh stream i'm sure some of you might remember that stream that game was given to me i thought the concept was really fun really good i played it on stream and it wasn't fully optimized and wasn't fully like there yet and it was very bad for the dev to not only see that but also for the people that were watching and for the thousands of thousands of people that end up watching it through its life cycle and then people start forming an opinion on that like okay no nope, i'm writing this game off when 
really that maybe not should have been the case right it shouldn't have been written off that fast you know it wasn't fully fully like ready because there's been times where i've been emailed a game and i've seen it and the dev will literally tell me hey there's this game breaking bug there's this bug there's this bug but i would love for you to play it on the channel and i say stop right there i'm not going to do that i i tell them directly i say i am not going to play your game if you know there's bugs and there's bad bugs and there's this and that i'm not going to play your game because i do not want to put a bad shadow over it because believe it or not i know it's crazy some people some for some reason value my opinion when it comes to games sometimes and i think it would be a very bad thing to influence uh people to not purchase your game even when you know there's problems with your game right so i won't do that and that actually happened like about a month ago as well and basically all i say is i you know out of the respect for you and your time on you making your game I will not play your game and instead let me know in the future when you have everything all ironed out and everything and you know there's nothing I can do about that that's mostly the dev right maybe the dev is really excited to maybe uh, get their games out to, to to be seen and whatnot right I don't I don't know what you know the mindset is maybe they're on a time limit uh, you know I, I, I have no idea I am not sure about that Which game? I'm not going to say which game because I don't want to... Again, I don't want to put a, a, a bad light or a bad shadow over the dev and things like that. But, um, yeah. That's why I felt really bad when I played Delivery Boy. Because I wasn't aware of, like, how unready optimized that game was. Because the dev never told me. They just said, hey, here's the game. Play it. Have fun. I was like, okay. And I was like, oh, it's a pretty good concept game. And then it turned out to be a freaking nightmare. And then I'm stuck in a position where I'm like, uh, well, I don't think it's fair for me to kind of say this game, is it worth it or not? People in chat are like, is this game worth it or not? It's like, oh, uh, well, I don't know. <laughs> I don't, maybe it is five months from now, but it's not really flushed out yet, right? Mm -mm. I do. That's ultimately what, what it is. I, I want to showcase the game in their best light. Um, because I think it makes for a, a good show. It makes for a good show for people to watch. And it makes people want to go and buy the game for themselves. And not only good for the dev, but also good for the viewer. Good for the consumer that, hey, they can finally go play a game. Take their uh, mind off things. Have fun, enjoy their evening, and whatnot, right? I think it's a win, win, win for everybody when that happens. <laughs> a movie simulator, movie cinema simulator was a good game. It is a good game. I like movie cinema simulator. That's a very good game. Very good $5 game. I enjoy that game. I like that game a lot. Uh, one game that comes to my mind that I, <laughs> I, if anybody's ever heard of, what game was it? Uh, definitely not fried chicken. I really liked that game. I really enjoyed that game. However, every update that that game had during early access would delete my save. I restarted that game three times on the channel. After the third time, I was like, I can't come back to this game again <laughs> but i really enjoyed that game that was a really cool game and that was actually a game published by merge games which tomorrow we're going to be playing another game by merge games as well i believe we're going to be playing a very early access look at frontier lightyear frontier very excited about tomorrow's stream yeah, I, 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 I am. I am excited about tomorrow's stream. It's going to be fun. I really liked uh, the demo that I played with Lightyear Frontier. 
So with the game coming out fully now, it's going to be fun. We're going to have a good time. <clears throat> yeah, the No Man No Man Sky devs did well. They turned it around after years, but yeah, they 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 turned it around eventually, right? After false promises. <laughs> yeah. They got it together. They got they figured it out eventually, right? Even okay, even with this doing the two look 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 here real quick. Even with the two boxes thing, I feel like we're not keeping up with demand. I feel like our money is not really like stacking up now, isn't it? But again, I, I, I believe it's the loan. I do. I believe it's the loan. I can't really think of anything else what it could be. But keeping up with the the income here, it's like penny pension almost. $2,600. I would have to go days without paying bills, which that's not going to happen. So it's very much i don't know i don't know what's going on here with all these uh with all this unless i'm trying to think here we've done the approach of of stocking a lot right like five boxes at a time and we can't keep up with that we've done the approach of two boxes at a time more variety can't keep up with that and we're not paying our employees any money at all. So I'm not sure. I think it is. Once you pay the loan off, the money will start jumping, right? We have all sorts of products. More customers come in, they buy more, so you earn more. Yeah. But even if we have little to no products, they're still buying something, I guess. I think what's happening is they're not buying enough. So if the customer is not buying enough and we have loan bills, electricity bills, and rent bills, I think what's happening is our sales might not might not be reaching our expenses and that's because of the variety of them not having enough things to buy so they buy little quantities of things every day i think that's what's happening right i think that's what it is they're not buying enough quantities per day for us to keep up with the expenses let's see 53 dissatisfied customers or products not found. Profit of 623 minus the rent and bills. You know what also doesn't come out of here that I'm noticing? Can anybody guess what's not coming out of here? But not the employees. We know the employees isn't coming out of here. But can anybody else guess what's not coming out of here? There's another thing not coming out of here as well. This ledger is not fully correct. Exactly. It's the loan. The loan is not coming out of here. So this is not even calculating correctly. So the employees are not being paid, obviously. The rent's being paid. The bills are being paid. The bills are the electricity. The rent is the rent of the space. The loan is nowhere to be seen. The beer tax. <laughs> so if we had the loan on here, tacked onto here, it would be like 325. So if we had 325 on this, that means our total profit would be like two something, like 290 something, 298 maybe. I don't know. I'm, I'm throwing out numbers there. Our profit would be 298. Not 623. <laughs> it's a little misleading, right? 
it is very misleading you think you're doing good but you're not interesting 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 that's very interesting but i guess that also kind of puts into put into place that we are at the three hour mark oh my lord we're at three hours already holy crap Thank you all for uh for for stopping in with me i hope you all appreciated today's uh supermarket sim where we have the new update in they overall on i i like to give my opinions on these updates uh especially like the last game we played with the update how do i feel about the update i think the um i think the stalker is fun i think it's a great little piece there i think it will absolutely help us uh for sure um i like it i like i like that i like the the tags on the shelves i like the tags on the stock shelves i like the stockers they're doing well they're automated uh they don't get in the way which is nice as well i'll be honest with you a uh, little disappointed on the frame rate thing you know it's a little bit of a of an inconvenience it is what it is um but mostly i think i'm kind of questioning the economics in this game a bit right i wish the ledger was correct and i kind of wish the employees were correct i think if the employees being paid were correct um it would really change all of our supermarkets and change how we ran them we probably w probably wouldn't have this many stalkers and we probably wouldn't have this many cashiers um if we were paying them <laughs> um i think things would be different right but yeah i think it's a nice update for sure i think uh the stalkers are going to be fun to play with as we uh grow bigger right as we get our bigger um supermarket here it is interesting we'll have to see more i'll keep my eye on this we'll be back with this game don't worry about it we'll be back and um yeah hopefully there's a hot fix to the performance we'll, we'll have to see We'll have to see and if you are in there if you're in the devs discord stop bugging them it'll be out when it's out till then complain come to my stream complain here and be like oh i wish this was in the game we can complain together this is a <laughs> this is a safe place to complain don't bug the devs don't bug the dev <laughs> <laughs> all right anyways thank you all for hanging out with me today thank you for following on twitch there crew i see you um is there is, is there like a raid thing maybe we can look into what do you think is there anybody streaming right now anybody streaming at the top of this hour let me see mm -hmm. dun, 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 dun. is this the last supermarket sim no this is not dun, 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 dun 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 it is not. It is not. I'll send you over to Nima. That's what we'll do. We'll send you over to Nima. We'll do, we'll, we'll we'll redirect you. We'll redirect you in case you want to see more supermarket. Uh, we'll redirect you over to more supermarket. How about that? Y'all can't get enough of this game. That's what it is. We'll redirect you over there yeah have fun over at nema and i will see you all tomorrow with a brand new game a brand new game take care she said we better of his best friends who was the best friend